New aerial video taken by the Coast Guard shows some of the debris now collecting near Cape Scott on the northern tip of Vancouver Island. You can see several refrigerators positioned right on the beach. First Nations Hereditary Chief David Knox echoes a common sentiment up here. It was just a matter of time before we saw this happen because there's so many freighters around, big ships, and and these storms are getting more fierce. A First Nations school field trip yesterday captured these photos. The class was there to study environmental issues and ended up getting a first-hand experience. There are now four of the 109 containers spotted, all of them near Cape Scott. Coast Guard says the two containers with toxic chemicals inside are not among these four. Our coastlines are so sensitive you know, with, with the kelps and all the other little fishes around the kelps and, you know, our beaches with all our clams. So I, I'm, I'm really concerned about the impact on, on the whole coast. Meanwhile, new concerns at the Zim Kingston where fires continue to smolder. The Coast Guard saying there may be up to five containers still on fire and it's believed a cargo of tires may have ignited. We've also learned that firefighters were hampered in their efforts because they couldn't attack the flames head on as that could flood the ship. Most of the spraying was on the perimeter of the fire to try and cool the surrounding metal. I can't believe how to fathom what's it going to take to clean up the whole beaches, and especially with uh, more storms coming on, so more containers are going to wash up and crack coping. Judging by the debris field, there's a lot of plastic and rubber in these four containers and probably in many of the other 1,900 containers still on board the smoldering Zim Kingston. Ted Chernecki, Global News.